All right, hello from uh, the lead again. <laughs> I feel like I was just here. Uh, but look at my view, this is pretty freaking cool. Let me check it out. All right, we're just gonna rest a little bit because we had the Monday day yesterday, which was pretty tiring. And then we're gonna go out later because you know how my video is, everything starts late here, so it's no big deal if you rest a little bit. But I'm pretty happy with the place. I did like the place we stayed last time, but this is a really good alternative, right? Close to part of that as well. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm excited to be here again in my video. Okay, we came to Brutal Specialty Coffee real quick for my latte. Yeah, <laughs> I ended up going to La Casa del Abuelo, which has gambas al ajillo garlic shrimp with chili and some sweet red wine. And that took me over to El Barrio de las Letras, where many important figures such as Miguel de Cervantes, the writer of Don Quixote, the first novel in Spanish, was written. This neighborhood is beautiful because it has many taverns, rooftops, coffee shops, and beautiful apartments. Dias from Madrid. Um, I didn't record much yesterday, but today we're gonna go around and explore a bit and I'm gonna show my sister and my mom because I haven't been here yet, so I'm excited to go around and enjoy more of Madrid. So let's go for a walk. came to Plaza Mayor and we got some bocadillos de calamar. They were so good. It's called La Campana. I highly recommend it. A few steps away from La Plaza Mayor is La Chocolateria San Ginés, which was established in 1894. They are fried dough fritters sprinkled with sugar and a side of hot chocolate. And it is so delicious because it's not overly sweet, but it's really crispy and this chocolate is delicious. You're gonna enjoy every moment of these churros con chocolate and a nice side of café con leche. It is a must when you visit Madrid. All right, so San Ginés was a 10 out of 10. I highly recommend it. Now we're heading over to the Palacio de Madrid. Um, oh, that flag got in my face. Um, so I'll see you guys there. Something I love so much about Madrid is how walkable of a city it is because it was created for people and not vehicles, and it still remains that way. We walked over to El Palacio Real de Madrid, which was, construction was started in 1735 and ended in 1751. The royal family used to live here, and now they don't reside here anymore, but it is a governmental building with beautiful views of the city of Madrid, in addition to La Plaza de la Armería, which has the Almudena right across the way. You can also walk up to El Mirador de la Cornisa and you can go to the Sabatini Garden, which has Bridgerton vibes. It makes you feel like you're in an episode of Bridgerton. After that, you can head over to La Plaza de España, which is eventually going to lead you to La Gran Vía, which has great nightlife. It has Broadway shows, shopping, restaurants, everything you can imagine. This area is beautiful to visit on your first trip to Madrid. from El Museo del Jamón. They have these really good breakfast deals here. They're like five euros for a sandwich or a croissant with um, coffee and orange juice. So I'm really excited to try it in El Museo. All right, let's see how it tastes. So we are now in El Palacio de Cibeles with the Cibeles Fountain. It's a really nice area and then you walk here to 
to get to like some cool neighborhoods, so that's what we're gonna do. We are in the Justicia neighborhood. So beautiful. It's like modern, but still, you know, the traditional Madrid style. So we're going back to Faraida. I went there last time I was here and I just loved it so much that I have to go back. So see you guys there. I don't really know what it is about Madrid, but there's something that makes me feel like I'm at home when I'm here. I just feel like I naturally connected with the city from the first moment I met it. And this time I felt exactly the same way. I don't know if it's the culture, the people, or maybe because I have some roots here in Spain, but something about it just feels like home and I love it. So happy that I got to explore it again. And even though I'm so sad that I'm leaving again, to go somewhere else. I'm so happy that I got to explore it again. And I know that hopefully someday I'll be able to come back and explore again. Thank you so much, Madrid. I love you so much and I'll see you next time. Hasta luego.